you're probably thinking, what, another video of the signal generator? Yes, but as you notice, I've got a radio down here, and I've got the, the, the cable from the probe wrapped around it a few times to give it some kind of coupling. Um, this right radio is actually turned on. They're set to about the same frequency. 1,000 over there, and this is set to 1,000. And I'm not sure whether it's the, the, the nature of, of, of the radio and the counter or what, but it seems like it gets quieter when I get off the frequency. You can hear it getting noisy and pretty well off it by there, but I'm not sure exactly where where the center would be. Um, the other thing I do have, this thing does have the internal, mo the internal audio oscillator does work. And it produces a 400 hertz tone, as you can hear, which also does cause the counter to change. This is with it off, and that's with it on. And um, so I'll, I'll fine tune that to about right there. That's about where that's about where it sounds the best. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this on to the switch isn't in the right position. I slipped, but uh, this thing has external modulation input for modulating the signal. You can run it unmodulated, you can run internal modulation and external modulation. And what we've got here is for the external modulation kit is I got an iPod and I hooked, tried hooking the iPod up to it and that's not enough voltage. So I've got sitting over here in the corner I've got a uh, Harman Kardon PM645 receiver that's taking the line input and I'm driving this directly off the speaker outputs um, so let me let me readjust this a little bit more let me go actually let me go back to the uh, the tone and I'll fine-tune it and this radio this this, this radio doesn't sound very good with AM it, it's kind of a shame uh, Tavoli made some some great stuff but this this is a this is a kit it's a chip radio that sounds like it sounds horrible so according to this i'm at 1001 so uh, either the counter's off or it's just the way the radio works so i'll go ahead and hit play on the ipod and make sure i'm on the right option and i'll fine tune it a little bit And, uh, there you go. The signal generator is working as an AM transmitter. I could probably couple that to an antenna and get a few inches of range. I, uh, don't know. It's right, everything's in this such close proximity that, um, it's picking it up all over the place. I don't, I don't think you can get any real power out of this. I don't think I could make it a very good part 15, uh, transmitter but it does in fact it is uh, being driven off the iPod it's not not the best sound in the world a little noisy um, it's kind of a it's easy to overload the input on it not only that but I've got different uh, couple different adjustments I can make. I think I'm overloading the actual main input. I don't know what I'm overloading. This is not the best radio for this. It just happened to be the uh, most convenient. So yeah, uh, that's another little stupid trick I can do with my signal generator. Which actually may not be too bad because if I get something that I need to test AM function on, I can always stir some video audio into it. Anyway, my camera is telling me my card's about full, so I guess I better go ahead and get off of here and let you guys get back to whatever you're doing. Uh, thanks for watching these useless videos, man. I, um, I know somebody out there would watch them. Take it easy.